Hello. In this video, I will show you how to install MSYS2 and MainGW 64-bit for Windows. MSYS2 is a Unix-like shell for Windows, so it allows you to run many of the shell commands that come standard with Linux machines, but are usually unavailable in Windows. MainGW is the runtime environment for the GNU compiler collection, better known as GCC, and it allows you to compile C and C++ software for Windows, software like NGINX, PostgreSQL, etc. To install MSYS2, we will download the installer from the GitHub pages at msys2.github.io. It comes in two editions, one for 32-bit and one for 64-bit. I'm running Windows 64-bit, so I will just download that one. And the installation is very straightforward. You just download the file and run it. Now, it's very important not to have a space in the path. So you definitely don't want to put it in C colon slash program files because that has a space in it. On the other end, I personally don't like to put it on the root. So what I usually do is just create a subfolder, uh, a folder apps, and then put it in a subfolder of that. It installs in a, a minute or so, and I will likely fast forward some of the parts that just take time to download. Now that the installation is finished, we will run it. The easiest way is to just keep the box checked and click finish. Now once you install it, the first thing you want to do is to update it. And to do it, you just run the command update core. Now, if there is any update to the core, you will see this message that you must restart MSYS2 in order to finish the core packages update. So what we'll do now is we'll close this. We'll go to the installation folder. And instead of running the MSYS2 shell, I will just run the MingW64 shell because the next thing we'll do would be to install the MingW with the GCC. Uh, just before we do that, we want to update everything. So we'll use the package manager that comes with MSYS2. We'll write pacman-su to update everything. That's if we want to proceed. The default is yes, so I just hit enter. Great. Now the last thing that I want to do is uh, to install Git, GCC, and the base develop package, uh, which includes uh, many popular tools like Make and uh, popular libraries like Bison and Flex, which are required by uh, many of the open source software out there. In order to do that, I will run the command pacman. I'll pass the switch needed, so we only download what is not already installed and up to date. And we want to install git, mingw, w64, gcc, and base develop. Enter a selection, the default is all, which is what we want. So just hit enter, proceed, yes. Now that the installation and the updates have been completed, uh, let's just test to make sure that we have the software installed. So we see, for example, that we have Git version 2.7.0. We have make GNU make version 4.1. And we have uh, GCC 5.3.0. So 
your computer is now ready to compile C and C++ code.